please. Oh, there we go. Hey guys, it's Labrador one here, and today we are going to be playing some more Universe Sandbox 2. And uh, today, I, w I was thinking, you know, after this update, I was thinking maybe we should try forming a star and stuff again. But this time, uh, you know, a solar system and stuff, but this time... Uh, Let's make it more realistic, because last time we just collided moons and stuff, and the fragments were unrealistic. But, so what we're going to do is take, you know, this is our proto-sun, you know, it's a small star named uh, No Nax. How about No Snacks? Uh, kind of like, uh... My weekends, yeah, no snacks, or nothing tasty at least. Alright, so this is our star, let's uh, change the grid, orbits, zone, no, let's not do the zone. Alright, so now, what I want to do is we are going to add tons and tons of rocks. I was thinking maybe we should make a ring. Ring, uh, I, uh, let's see, let's, uh, number of bodies, total mass, let's say Jupiter, back, let's say total mass of, um, three Jupiters, Bodies and stuff, particles. Uh, all right, material, color mode for material, silicate, sure. Uh, inner radius. Um, let's say a radius of uh, uh, maybe um, AU. Maybe in a, in a radius of uh, zero zero point four AU, and then the outer radius would be uh, seven AU. Shape, ring, density. All right, let's add this ring and see if this glitches out. All right, so let's see. Wait, has anything even appeared? Oh, come on! You're not even doing like a realistic texture. I mean, it's not just gonna spawn a bunch of moons. All right, how much does this even weigh? This weighs one moon. All right, so we have tons of uh, one moons swarming the star system the star known as no snacks so anyways let's just watch what happens and this will probably glitch out really bad you know what view I'm I'm just gonna take off orbits all right there we go now we're not glitching as much and let's follow the life of moon 798 actually these are really spread apart so I don't think that we'll really see anything Universe Sandbox 2, this is a really annoying, uh, this is just so annoying. I would mu- let's try to figure out the best way to simulate this. Should we do what we did before? So let's add a random main sequence star, I want bigger. Bigger? No, not smaller. Not smaller. Not smaller. Bigger? No. 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 Uh, maybe. Sure, I'm just gonna... How big is this? I'm uh, fine. Alright, so... You know what? I think red dwarves are a better... Alright, let's call this... Gravut. That's probably a name that... You would get... 0 0.75 suns. 
This is Gravoot now. Materials, hydrogen gas, yes. Uh, let's uh, add a. Go away, Kaspersky. Alright, alright, let's. What I'm just gonna do is uh, view. Let's add a grid. No trails. No labels. We are going to add tons and tons of random asteroids. This is going to take a while. But thanks to Universe Sandbox 2, there's no logical way to really simulate the formation of a solar system. So that's not really nice. Alright, now that we put a lot of asteroids, let's put a bunch of random small moons. Alright, now that we put a bunch of random small moons, let's put a bunch of random large moons. Alright, now we got our moon swarm. Most of these have relatively. Alright. Well, this planet's hot. Hot, 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 out, Bernie. Oh, cool, it's setting off a trail. Wow, these are all really kind of bright. How about Groovet becomes smaller? No, that would totally weird everything. Burn, 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 burn. Burn, you foolish planets. For you will suffer in agony. You will suffer. You will suffer. Alright. Alright, where's the gas going? Hey, look, it's... it's Oh, it's just a tiny little asteroid. Hi, tiny little asteroid! It's just adorable. Oh, look at this adorable little asteroid. It's funny how the, only the big planets are burning up. I mean, the big things. This, pro this planet's gonna lose mass really fast. Yeah, but you know, it's kind of annoying that. Uh, let's uh, maybe s existing simulation. Maybe we should search for solar systems. Solar system, planet, uh, moons, moons, moons. Uh, planets. Um, so planets. Historical fiction, human size, systems, star swarm. That's inter that must be interesting. Small solar system. Let's check this out. All right, well, this, this solar system would be completely uninhabitable. View, let's change, let's take off trails. Oh, this moon's adorable. I don't know why, but I find tiny burning moons adorable. And it's funny how this this moon is orbiting this planet, but not really. I mean, it, Universe Sandbox 2 is not acknowledging that it does. Alright. Alright, this is, uh, interesting. Let's look at this. Look at this. There's a huge gas giant right here. And 
and then there's that. Let's go look over here. View. Let's take trails off. Look at this big planet. This might even be habitable. Or uh, not really. Whoa, we got an explosion. You know, the explosions are really cool in the new version. Let's uh, launch a random small moon into right here. Oh, wait, pause. What? No, it's too late for him. Oh, actually, it's not. Look at this moon. This moon looks like it would have life on it. I mean, it's greenish. It's got green, 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 green materials. Look, it's even got an ocean. This could be like lily pads or something. <laughs> Massive continents. <coughs> ice crack, ice crack. Formed out of a coral or something. That would be really cool. And then life forms on top of it. Alright, Earth similarity 0.35. It's actually pretty close for a moon. But alas, this moon is doomed to, to fly into it. Or maybe it's not. Who knows? Only time will tell. We're going at six minutes. Because the moon is burning up. They're melting. I'm melting! 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 Oh, whoa, look at that. Wait. Oh, where'd it go? Yeah, you see those flashes? That's it. That's the gas coming right off of it. At least the planet will. I mean, whoa, look at that. I'm wondering why that's happening on the dark side. That's really interesting. And look at those. That smaller impact mark over there. There, there will be a pretty large impact mark here. But that's really interesting to see. And boom. I'm gonna slow this down. You look at this. Hey, I'm right here. I, huh? I'm pretty far away from the explosion. I'm sure I'm gonna live. Yes, well, honey, I think we're not going to live because that thing is moving at us pretty fast. We're going to be dead in a couple seconds. It's, it's cool how this looks like it's in slow motion, but it's really not. This is actually in fast motion, 2.5 times your regular speed about. Honey, it's getting closer. Get Hit the deck! I don't think that's going to hit the deck. I don't think that's going to hit the deck. Okay. They hit the deck and they just get burned anyway. Ooh, they're going to get burned. That's not good. They're getting closer to it. Closer to it. Closer, closer. Oh no, honey. It's coming towards us. Uh oh, honey. We're dead. And then a heat wave just comes even closer and closer and then burns across them and spidoosh they should be dead by now if they're not I'm really impressed actually this fragment is flying off the surface all right let's play this in fast motion the shockwave keeps flying and then the additional shockwaves keep flying. And more and more. <laughs> At least the planet's got some water now. Plus, this looks really cool. I mean, that just looked awesome. Look, this this little moon is going to get burned too. But this, I have to say, the crazy solar system 
is a really interesting simulation to try to find really weird planets. I mean, let's take a look at this one. This one actually looks like it would could be habitable, if you ask me. Except for the incredibly high temperature. But other than that, it looks like a really nice world to live on. Honestly, some things that Universe Sandbox 2 could consider is evolution, which would be awesome. Uh, another thing that would be awesome if they considered is if they considered, uh, you know, different types of atmospheres. And if they randomize the size of an atmosphere, too, it's, I mean, nowadays it's either zero or uh, a large amount, or Earth either an Earth-sized atmosphere or zero, unless it's just... Whoa, what's happening? What's happening? Did they hit the rogue limit? Oh no, they're hitting the rogue limit. Stop hitting that rogue limit. Maybe it's the tidal forces. I think we're gonna stick around longer. Long enough just to see the... Whoa, look at that. We're entering the portal. It's radiating. It's got a huge amount of radi. It's actually spraying it directly onto the planet. They briefly hit the rogue limit again. They're sending material flying off into space again. Maybe we should. W I'm gonna stick around to watch this. That poor moon, I mean, look at him. Just getting stuff sent all away from him. No, I don't want to lose this rock, it's precious to me. Please don't take it from me. Too bad, says the bully planet. Bully planet. Plus, I mean, look at it. I mean, it's blue. Why would, why, why would you kill a blue planet, even if it's not water? Liquid water, activate it. Disappeared. Why is it disappearing? Oh, there we go. No, it's dying. The water is dying. Oh no, it's dead. The water is dying. The moon is gonna die. Bo boom, they lost more material. And. Boom! There. There you go. You know what? I'm just gonna delete you because you don't even matter anymore. Hey, where did, where did everyone go? Oh, there they are. Let's look at this world. I mean, no, that's an asteroid. But cum. There's the cumus pie. Yeah, is this the one we looked at? I feel like it is. No, I don't think so. Still. A so much more is awesome nowadays in Universe Sandbox 2, and I think this just shows it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I mean, hit that like button for more. And subscribe. Levered01 is signing out.